What is good, Mexican planners? Hey, I'm here at this little corner cafe, uh, coffee shop in Parque Alaman. This is a really cool neighborhood that I really actually like. It's uh... um, the center of life here is the park. They have, um, but it's a really, uh, it's one of the older neighborhoods in Merida. Um, it's a really cool neighborhood. And uh, on each side of the road, they have um, little restaurants for eating and shopping. So uh, I'm going to show you more about the park later, but uh, I just wanted to give you an idea. This is Parque Alamán at a corner cafe. So the rest of my food arrived here. We have a croissant con jamón y queso, uh, cafe y hot cakes. Not very glamorous, let's see how it tastes. All right, so I just finished my breakfast and the server just brought out the check. <clears throat> Let me run down this bill for you. Coffee, 20 pesos, 20 pesos. Hot cakes, 45 pesos. Croissant, 45 pesos. Water, 12. So I had hot cakes, croissant with ham, eggs, and uh, cheese, um, a cup of cafe americano, and a bottle of water for a total of 122 pesos or six dollars. So let me say that again: 122 pesos or roughly six dollars. As you can see, the little restaurant, Cocina Economica. I had breakfast for six pesos, six dollars. Um, back before the pandemic, this park was really busy uh, with people. Today they're having a little skate meetup. I see Sunita and Ashlyn. I don't see anybody else with skates, so let's see. But uh, they would have they would have um, cars out here and all types of uh, like electric cars that you could rent and ride the Barbie cars and what have you. Um, but this is a nice open surface, so um, this park is really good for like skating and what have you, but it's full sun. You're full on sun right now. Hey, look at you. All right. Good job. Let's see. Oh, yeah, get it, girl. Get it. So this is Parque Alamán. Um, it is a very, very dope park. As you can see around the square, there's the Super Aquí, the church, um, the carnival, and then I'm just gonna kind of walk around this whole park and bring you back to where I was. But um, this is just a really, really cool place. And it's kind of the center of this neighborhood, uh, which is Alamán, which is one of, if I'm not mistaken, one of the first middle-class neighborhoods in Merida. Um, the homes here are a little different. They're not the colonial style homes. Actually one of the homes we fell in love with was one of these older homes that had been remodeled and uh, we just knew that that was going to be our house because it was just super super dope. But um, ultimately it didn't work out and we didn't choose this neighborhood but this was really the first like real neighborhood that we saw that I, I, I actually fell in love with. Now this carnival situation is here every weekend well, I'm sorry, it's here every day. And normally at night in pre-pandemic, they would open up this carnival. And so you'd have kids out here playing, people doing exercises. This big uh, area that's behind me was that big field where they were roller skating. That was the area where they would have like electric carts, like Barbie carts and Jeeps and all sorts of carts that you could rent and ride around for like 20 pesos for a dollar.
have the homes here right on the square. I mean, there's some really dope stuff here. So, you know, this park, I actually like this park. And again, I like this neighborhood. Now that we have a car, we may consider it, especially if we can find a, a house that we like. Um, but I really love the area we're in. So this is the Green Point in Merida. This is the Green Point in Merida. It looks like they are um, recycling small electronics plastic bottles anything that has the recycling symbol you can kind of recycle here so that's good to know that they have a recycling spot um, here in Meta. I did not know that so it's open uh, to the public Wednesdays through Sundays 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and all these boxes that I have and bottles of wine uh, I could bring here and recycle so now I know and that is uh, that is awesome um, and this is kind of cool. So one of the cool things they have in some of the parks, and I don't know if this is open, it looks like it is, but they have exercise equipment or exercise machines that you basically use body weight and you can get your grind on. So if you are trying to uh, get in shape, um, a lot of parks have these exercise uh, machines or equipment that you can kind of work out. This fountain was on again, um, uh, pre-pandemic, the fountain was, was active but it is no longer active right now, I guess, because they're saving on money. But um, this is the fountain that, you know, kind of sets everything off when you walk into the park. So um, again, just a really, really nice park, y'all. I, I know I've said that a bunch of times, but I've kind of walked this square so you can see across the street, there's restaurants, open air restaurants, Casino Economicas. I went to a spot this morning, wasn't the best, but it got the job done, I mean, uh, it, it cured my hunger, 